हेलो एवरीवन हाय पंकज वेलकम यू ऑल इन दोस्ट टू वेब सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टुडे सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू जस्ट रिवाइज व्हाट वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड सो जस्ट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द मॉडल वन व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर द प्रोसीजर ओरिएंटेड ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग सिस्टम यू आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर rows per object oriented language with c your console input output variables reference function prototyping overloading then we have seen talked about the introduction member function object function object and function object and arrays namespace nested classes constructor destructor which comes into the class and objects and we have talked about uh, why we are going through the object oriented concept and why do we need so now we are going to talk about why do we need object oriented programming language so hope every you are aware about that we have first a structure oriented then we have come with the c programming that is a procedure oriented and then it's come to the object oriented programming so we are going to see each and every basic structure so when we talk about object oriented programming so obviously you know that every programming language there is a certain limitation and certain drawbacks so when the certain drawbacks has been discovered in the previous programming language like c fortan then they have come with the object oriented programming and this object oriented programming what actually it does we have to understand the limitation that how it has come from the traditional programming language so when we talk about the structure so the basic structure how this structure is there so if you want to define a structure in a c program so first of all you have to define the keyword that is called as a struct then you have to give the something called as a structure struct name that is called a structure name so this part you can define anything you can define anything but remember that this is not going to your predefined sentence keyword identifier so you are not going to use predefined here next as usual you have to give the open brace then you are going to give the data type hope you know that data type that is your int or char or float which you have studied in c programming and so on you have to specify data type and member name it's the member name is nothing it's a variable so you have to define here variables okay so you can define any variable name but remember this variable name and this is structured name both should not match so similar way as many variable you have you have you can define the variable name and at last you have to give the closing brace and semicolon this means that you are terminating the structure so this is the for termination so you are terminating the structure once you created the structure what you are going to do you have to declare the variables of structure so how many variable you are using in the structure that you have to declare so how you are going to declare you have to use the keyword as a struct then you have to give the struct name that is a structure name whatever you have given and then you are going to give the variable name after this done that means you have declared the variable then you have to access data member of a structure so how you are going to do you have to use the variable name that means what you are defining here this place this variable name dot member name so you can see here we have declared the member name here this member name you have to use here when you are going to access the data name so similarly how many data member you have that means member variable you have you can access the data member using this method next you have to assign the value to the structure member so whatever the value you have declared so how you are going to assign the value you have to give 
var underscore name that is the variable name that what you have defined here you can see here what you have defined here variable name dot member name so name member name what you have defined here so or you, what you have in define is structure this member name you are going to define this member name you are going to define and then you are going to give the is equal to symbol and what value you are going to define so this is the basic structure in c program so after this we are going to see a basic uh, program of a structure so how you are going to write a program so we are going to just write a very simple uh, structure program in which you are going to define the structure student name a student id and a student is so these three field you have to define so what you are going to define so when you are going to write any program so first of all you should find out what are the variable you have so we are going to write find right here a student name then you are going to write a student id and you are going to write a student age so these three field you have which you have to create into the structure so as i just shown in the previous slides regarding that how you can create the structure so to create the structure we have to start with the struct keyword so what you are going to write you are going to write a struct then you are going to write the structure name so you can write a structure name anything it's depend on you so i will write as a struct or you can use like something a student a student data so i create the structure name with the student data then you have to create the open brace and what you are going to do we have to three variables so you can see this variable is the string this is the integer this is the integer so how to def define so we have seen that data type so i am going to use the data type as a char so i will use as a pointer so what is that we will create a student name so i'll variable name a student underscore name semicolon next integer then we have to create the ids so is u underscore id remember there is no space between the id and this it is similar continuous int then you are going to define the age so same way student it is just u and uh, then you are going to write age and then at the end you have to terminate the structure so this is the structure we have created now what you have to do you have to access these data members so for that you are going to use into the main function so main function how you are going to do you are going to write int it is the return type main so we have used return type so we have to use at the end return statement so first you have to access this structure so how you are going to do so you have to use a struct then what is the structure name we have defined that is sorry it is a student data so it is a student data and any variable name so i will be using as a student here so now we have to access the structure variable that means you are going to define so how you are going to define so as i mentioned in the previous slides you have to use the structure variable name so what is the variable name you are going to access through that is the student so you write a student sorry a 
a student then you have to use the dot operator then what is the variable name so our first variable name is student to you underscore name so dot s to you underscore name is equal to you can write any name so i will write as a my name pankas close the double quotes semicolon next i have to define the id and a similar way so similar way i'll write a student dot stu underscore id is equal to you have to define the student age that is also integer so similar way student dot stu underscore is is equal to write is the is whatever you want the number so this is the this way you have defined the variables the value of the structure now we have to display this value so how you are going to display this value let's see here Yeah. so you are going to displaying the value so what you are going to do we know that to display we have to use printf function so what you are going to display a student name so you write it like a student name is equal to obviously this is the string so you have to use percentages then close inverted comma give the comma so what you are going to do you are going to call this so you have to write the structure name so you are going to write the structure name that is this the access variable name that is the student dot stu underscore name sorry close the bracket then give the semicolon similar way you have to define display for the student id so a student id is equal to percentage d similar way a student dot you are going to write stu underscore id next printf a student is is equal to so this is also integer so percentage d semicolon so it's co comma then similar way a student dot then this the name is stu underscore is close the bracket semicolon then at the last you have to give the return statement because we have used return int means so return zero close it so this is the basic example of the any structure program so next week session we will continue for the structure oriented programming that is the procedure oriented programming language that is c we'll see the basic structure of c programming and with example then we'll continue with the basic of c programming thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please put into the description we will be happy to answer you all thank you